I was like, shoot, shoot, shoot! Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my niece, Yaya, my brother, Brito Mas Grande. I've got a three-prong pole spear, and we're about to go do work. I'm looking for mangrove snapper, lionfish, lobster, and anything else. We're predatory. We gone.
weather people props today. It's exactly what they called, which is rare, but hey, got to give credit where credit's due. Dude. Hey, Smasher. <laughs> we were doing a little mangrove smashing today. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some turkey smashing. Check that out. Hey. Well, like I said, I don't think we're over our lunch yet. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that one. That's a big one for a three-pronged pole spear right there. <laughs> That's a big one for any type of weapon. <laughs> That's an arm length of mangrove snap right there. Yeah. The way I looked at it, I was going to get whichever ones I could. I knew they were all legal, and oh, Aubrey and Yaya had spear guns, so I figured they would get the ones that were outliers. Hey, that's called an eye snap. Ice snap, is that the best thing you could come up with? An ice snap or an ice snap? Ice snap. <laughs> <laughs> On the way, we stopped by fishing headquarters, and I thought maybe we'll be in a spot we could catch a trout or a redfish, something on the flat. So I picked up these, they're a live target. I don't even know what they're called. Fleeing shrimp. But with all these mangrove snapper, I almost guarantee you they'll eat them. The second this video gets 20,000 likes, I will do a video showing all of my favorite knots and how I use them in practical situations. That's a loop knot. It'll give this jig real nice, lively action. Oh yeah, it sinks fast too. Watch this, let's just drop it down real fast. Watch this. Oh my, that is gonna get work. So bag limit's 10 mangroves. 10 per person? All right. Got it. It ate it on the drop. I don't even know what the heck I've got. What do I have on here? A little jack. That might be the problem. I might not be able to get it to the snapper. That's a nice fish, y'all. What do you think it is, Aubrey? That's a snapper. It does. That's a this is our weapon of choice. It's a favorite old salty combo. I've got 15 pound test braided line. I've got a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader. And then I'm using just a chunk of squid. Now, here's tech tip of the week for you. Make sure your squid is fresh. If it's frozen, that's fine. Just make sure it's it's fresh. Because if it's a little tainted, a little old, these fish will not eat it nearly as well. Lauren, we got them fired up. You wanna come catch one? <laughs> you know they're biting when Aubrey's got one. That's a good one too. That's a stud. All I wanna all I wanna do is I wanna explain how good the fishing is over here. The 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 crazy thing is. If you don't know where you're at, you might as well be fishing in a desert. That's the great thing about a good guy, you know? Tom, Captain Tom with Blind Date, 
he has all these spots marked. He knows where to go. Whether, oh my goodness. Look at the size of that mango. But whether you're looking for African pompano, mangrove snapper, grouper, he knows where they're at. And that's why I fish with him. Look at the size of this rascal. Over the rail and in the pail. That is just a chunk of a gray snapper, also known as a mangrove snapper. You stick your finger in his mouth, you'll know why they call him a snapper. Hi, <laughs> my nibs are you done. Holy Toledo, Austin's got the camera and Emma has the fish. Just throw it right there, that's a perfect spot for it. Holy macaroni. Do you wanna eat fish for dinner? Heck yeah, she does. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We just got back from one of the all-time epic video. Like, I look over and Aria's got a camera. Are you filming? Uh-huh. How cool is that? I was like, there's Austin with the camera and there's my four-year-old with the camera. But uh, we just got back from like one of the sickest fishing trips ever. And you may have just watched the African Pompano video. Well, th this was like 10 minutes later. We went down and there were a gazillion mangrove snappers. And typically whenever I do a recipe, it's like on a fly, just on a whim. Let's do it. Hey dad, you shouldn't just show the thing and just show it off and that's how you get it out. Oh, so I, I didn't. Sh yeah, here, throw it on the, throw it on the, uh, just put it right there. Perfect, perfect. Okay, Aria. So we're gonna call you the producer here. Is there, do, what do I need to do? Tell me how you want me to do it. I kinda want you to go skin it out, kind of. Just skin it out, like but show it like that? The eye. <laughs> how did that get there? Cause that's where I speared the fish. Oh. That's where I speared I them. I kinda want you to get the skin off and then like chop it up. Okay. So yeah. check this out, y'all. I've never but had my daughters so involved with cleaning fish. Emma, I want you to watch out so Daddy can clean this fish. This is how I do it. Take that knife and come in right there. The other night, I did dinner here. No, like... no, stop! <laughs> Dad, I won't want me to. <laughs> it's okay, sweetheart. Emma, you, you just did not grow up. <laughs> hey, drop a thumbs up if you totally understand. Um, but I did a meal over here the night Why that we got back. <laughs> you just touch the screen right there, just like that. Oh. See? Emma, stop! <laughs> I want to film. Emma, stop! Hey, listen. You film now, and then Emma, you can film in a little bit, okay? Now, I did this meal a couple nights ago, as soon as we got back from fishing, and my dad was like, Man, that's good. And if you know my dad, he never says, man, that's good about anything. So I thought, well, I got to do this again for y'all. Look at that. That's a perfect filet. And we're just going to cut the skin off. That's very easy. Aria, did I do a good enough job for you there? Yeah. I did a good, no good I'm enough. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Don't do this so much. I'm trying to film. She's trying to film, y'all. <laughs> this isn't like a movie production. This is just us filming in our living room, kitchen, trying to make dinner. And like every other family in the world, our girls will absolutely start fussing. There you go. What do you think, Em? Good. Are Can you excited? just hold it? You want to hold it? I'll show you the fish. I just told the meat. Yep, I'm gonna give you the meat right now. And what I'm gonna give you, this is what I'm cooking for dinner for you. Okay. Sound good? Yep. Is it okay if I just hold that? Here you go. Of... Perfect. Say film. No, stop. Aria, say something. What do you wanna say? I kinda want the meat, how it feels. Yeah, you just wanna feel it? Well, look, you know, you guys, many of you have been watching my channel since 2013 when we started, before these two little rascals were even thought of. And this is the life that we live. So introducing them to it and making it normal 
is why they enjoy eating it and being a part of it. This isn't weird to them. This is just food. This is just what we do. Let's cook, y'all. Now, huge part of what I'm doing. Anytime you wash your fish, you need to dry your fish. Reason is, if it's wet, the seasoning and the marinade will not stick to it. Now, it's dry, it's clean, and it's ready. Kikkoman teriyaki sauce, it's the original. And it's got all of these like sesame seeds in there. If you were to put wet fish in there, it wouldn't stick. But if you put dry fish in there, that teriyaki sauce is just gonna like fall in love. Make a little love potion, they'll be happy. Next thing you know, you're eating good in the neighborhood. Put just a little bit of vegetable oil on it like that. You can add a little like Himalayan pink sea salt, but why? The teriyaki already has salt in it. Put that away. When in doubt, throw the sodium out. Now look how beautiful this is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Take this off the heat. Girls, who's ready for some fish? <laughs> I love it, y'all. That's the perfect scenario. Go out, catch a bunch of fish, come back, clean it, hang out with your daughters, and then they love to eat fresh fish. What is that? A lemon. It's a lemon. My mom has been working with them on their L's and their R's. Dada, can we treat this to lemonade? Yes, we can do that. Melts my heart. Aria, love saying blessing every night. Let's say it loud and clear, okay? Okay. Close your eyes. Jesus, thank for this day, thank for our food, our family, sing along with Please look at all those guys, the two guys who had a bad accident. The one who had a bad one with an arm closed and the girl who had a bad with an arm closed. And with only one arm, with only the one arm, um, most white here. Let him be better with the big, big, um, big cars lower really fast. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good job. This is Can we no, translate that? This is no joke. So she was praying for our friend Hudson who was hit by the boat. That's I'm actually wearing his I'm wearing his bracelet right now. I am a fighter, so Hudson, we love you. She has also prayed for Daryl Gwen, who she met at the racetrack every single day. But hold on, and she said the girl, which is the head-on collision that you... And the, on. yeah, the girl that was in the head-on collision that we saw. Uh, Y'all don't know about that yet, but those three people she prays for every single day. And we don't like even ask her to do this. Okay. Sweet girl. Girls, come on. Wait, is this fair game too? Or is that different? Yeah, it's all the same. Oh, wait, I want this one. You want that one? Hey, Chicas. Oh, and then you can't beat yet. Whoa, it's so hard to get. Oh, okay. it's a big bite. Yeah. Here. Oh. Is it hot? I guess so. Oh, we just dropped that one. Here. It's not, right, Easy. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Here you go. Ooh. That's nice. What is the glaze? That's that teriyaki glaze that dad loves so much. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's good, huh? Mm. I'm That's telling you, the nice. only reason I did this did, was because Dad freaked out about it so much. Vegetable. Whenever I was cooking this, the night that we got back, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything to do, I want to do something. We were doing steaks, and I just said, oh, I'll just roll it into this and throw it on the griddle. Dad was like, man, that's good. I tasted it, I was like, wow, it is good. And I just wanted to show you. Simple, you could do this with a bluegill, crappie, bass, snapper, anything. There will be links in the description below to that teriyaki. They're not a sponsor at all. I, they, okay. Just something that we picked up at Publix. You can, you can do a lot of Instacart. Instacart. Oh, I'm like, who's at our house? Emma, no, 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 no. Come here. Come they're, here. they're just going to live it up. Come on. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The, uh, the cooking portion was just a look into our life. And I appreciate you for hanging out with us. 
My leg is still cramping, by the way. That's why I'm like hunched over here. Yeah, she's got a little bit of a magnesium deficiency and she's been having cramps in her legs. So bad. But, hey, this is our life and we appreciate you being a part of it. There is coming more. No, there is more coming. <laughs> Just not today. Take care, God bless, and we are. Take it. Done. <laughs>